I believe that the highest call of the public church within Scripture is that we would be God's temple on earth. Why do I say that? Paul says in Ephesians 2 verse 11 that Jesus came to break down the dividing walls. It would be become one person, one new man, one new creation in him. And the fullness thereof, built on the foundation of apostles and prophets with Christ as our cornerstone, is that we would be built together as this one new person to rise to become the temple. The highest call upon the bride of Christ is the home of God on earth. This is what God was revealing in Genesis, the garden of God. This is what God was uh, speaking to humanity through Israel uh, in the Mosaic Covenant, that there would be a people that would surround the tabernacle of God. Again, it's the centrality of the dwelling place of God. This is what David uh, foreshadowed in his administration and leadership, that he took Jerusalem to be one place of worship, and secondly, restoring to the one place of worship the Ark of the Covenant and building an administration of life around the person in the presence of God, all speaking about the fact that we are created to be, from the beginning of time, the place of God's dwelling on earth. That is temple language. Jesus came as the tabernacle, showing us that he would be God with us in order to make us the people that he would dwell in. This culminates at the end of time in Revelation, where God says there will be no temple because he would be our temple. And as we read the full big story of Scripture, the overarching truth is that we would be the home of God, the dwelling place of God, which is the language of the temple on earth. So it's easy for me to rave about my good friend Julian Adams. He has uh, not only been a dear friend, but an absolute inspiration. He's a gift to the body of Christ as a prophet to the people of God. And his ministry frequency is a wonderful privilege to facilitate that gift uh, into the body of Christ around the world. He's impacted my life significantly, not just on a personal level. Um, God using him to speak into my heart uh, and my wife's heart about our future, uh, but also about who we are uh, in serving in the churches and what God wants us to do within the churches and um, he's an amazing man with an amazing heart and God is using him and now uh, more recently with his wife Katya to minister, minister to the churches to encourage the churches and not only to encourage the churches but to raise up a generation of prophetically minded men and women who live with eyes fixed on the purposes of God becoming the, the prophetic people of God on on the earth bringing uh, the future grace of God into the present. So frequency is amazing.